It's never too early to start talking about wine and today a new wine bar opens in San Francisco and it's got its own unique touch. Jossa Moran joins me now in the studio and you were saying that when you visited this wine bar, they're the first Mexican wine bar in the United States. Yeah, this is as far as they know, okay. according to the owners. But we'll go with it. Yes, they're called Cantina Los Mayas. They're in the Richmond district. The owners have a taqueria, but now they're opening this bar. It's got a unique wine and food menu. So we got an inside look and got to speak with the owners about what people can expect. Morgan, Hube, and Vincent are getting ready to open Cantina Los Mayas, featuring more than 40 different wines, many from Valle de Guadalupe in Mexico. So a lot of these wineries uh, do a lot of blending, and sometimes unusual blending that to some avid wine drinkers might seem a little unusual, but the flavor is what you know is the best result at the end. I think Mexican wines wineries aren't afraid to try new things. And with the wine, you can expect authentic food with spices and condiments from Yucatan. This is uh, it's called pipián, but this uh, recado de pipián, that's how they call it in Yucatan. Behind the food, you'll find Hube. He grew up in Yucatan. My dad cooks a lot, and my mom, my aunt, so I basically learned all of this from them. On the menu, you'll see a variety of dishes, including tacos de maya, empanadas, and ceviche. Each dish is supposed to have, oh, we're planning to do like different type of salsa, but playing with all of the spices. Each aspect is well thought out, from the wine to the food to the design inside. We're thinking about the Guadalupe Valley, and the Guadalupe Valley it is a very uh, arid, uh, dry um, climate. And so, uh, borrowing from that, we came up with this de uh, um, desert elegant design. As people enter and experience the bar, the owners say the goal is that they showcase Mexican wine and the diversity of it. We've got three or four different Nebulas that are fantastic. There's a Syrah blend as well, Nebula Syrah blend, really, really tasty. Yeah, so we often, you know, associate Mexican food with burritos and tacos. So another one of the goals the owners say is that people realize that there is so much more to this. So we. As you saw, we spoke with Juve. He grew up in Yucatan, and he's bringing his traditions here. I want to learn about the pairings. Me too. Yes. We can pair wine oh up gosh. with, you know, I eat Mexican food all the time. Well, so. we will learn because I promised them that we are going to be there. <laughs> and we're warning you. What's really cool about it, too, is Mexico is one of the oldest growing winemaking regions in yeah. the Americas when the Spanish came in the 16th century. So pretty interesting. And finally, we're getting a taste of it because we're so into our California wines here. Yeah. I know this. We're all in. We are all in. I wonder if you could really do wine tastings up the coast through Baja. I want to yeah, look into that because I know there's probably that. a lot yeah. of vineyards along there. I think that would be a really fun yeah. vacation and a good way to learn more about it. So when are we going? <laughs> we have lots to plan, ladies. And they're open Thursday through Sundays. I was going to say, don't leave me out, G. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday through Sundays, that's when they're open. Okay. okay.